So, YouTube. Well, I'm playing a little more of Oblivion. And um, I just kind of rescued the, uh, the priest, uh, Martin, who is the bastard son of the Emperor, who died. And now I traveled to Wainan Priory with Martin to find that the monastery there is also being attacked by these dark wizards. And um, so Martin is in peril and uh, we need to uh, well, uh, get him to safety, basically. Now, um, uh, as I play... Well, let's do this, alright. Um, there's this thing I do um, that um, I need to finish Oblivion in order to let myself play Skyrim. Um, this is a stupid thing, I know, but um, I have not finished the main quest of Oblivion uh, um, because of various reasons. Uh, my save game was corrupted. Uh, I installed numerous mods that um, that basically destroyed my game and uh, I never got around finishing the main quest. Now I did uh, went a long way and do and did a lot of these side quests but I never saw the main quest t till the end. Um, so uh, this time around uh, I will finish it and um, yeah, I think uh, Oblivion is basically one of the one of the most uh, one of the best games in uh, in the series. Um, I think that Oblivion uh, has this medieval um, yeah this atmosphere that I like a lot. I like these um, these these medieval themes a lot better than uh, a lot more than the uh, Fallout series. And the, uh, the post-apocalyptic wasteland and all that, you know, it's pretty depressing. Uh, Oblivion is is far from depressing. It's a lot of a lot of fun. I enjoyed Morrowind, the previous uh, previous game or the the one that preceded uh, uh, Oblivion, and I enjoyed that a lot as well. Um, and I definitely definitely will enjoy Skyrim. Um, I have uploaded a video not too long ago about why Skyrim sucks uh, according to some people all right I'm not talking about myself but a lot of a lot of people that have commented on that video uh, actually think that I don't like Skyrim now of course the the, the name of the video is somewhat deceiving and um, but it, it, it generates a lot of comments and some people you know it's just for the for the discussion um, and some people agree with the fact that Skyrim is not um, that great in certain things you know certain aspects of the game uh, are poorly developed uh, other aspects of the game are really quite good um, but the one thing that bugged me a lot is the fact that Skyrim um, yeah, it's, it's kind of it was kind of buggy when it was released, and it needed to be patched in order to play um, properly. And I, that is something I, I, I essentially don't like about uh, games that are not. Uh, I'm not not saying bug free, but uh, the, these bugs that were in the game when it was released. Um, actually, a lot of people were, uh, well, had, had, uh, had to deal with that, and, uh, um, these were not, these were game-breaking bugs, and, um, yeah, I think, I just think that, uh, when, upon release, a game should at least be, be, uh, well, bug-free, of course, but you can, you can ask for that, but, um, but you know what you mean, what I mean, it's, it's, um, it's kind of a bummer. Uh, that stuff that uh, it's just not that polished but you know it's an open world game and stuff uh, there's a lot of stuff in it so and it's basically also the reason uh, not only that I want to play Oblivion beforehand I finish Oblivion beforehand but also because I just want Skyrim to be as playable as possible so I'm waiting uh, for playing that until I don't know all the patches have been released and the game is basically um, 
yeah, what it was meant to be, you know, meant to how it was meant to be played and uh, as bug free as possible. So, and uh, of course, all the mods that will come out, have come out, and will come out that um, make uh, the game more, more enjoyable. Um, and there's a lot of stuff uh, there. So, uh, to be downloaded on uh, on the uh, Skyrim Nexus. Um, so yeah. Uh, so okay now. Um, we're still at Wayne and Priory. Uh, looks like uh, we've killed all the bad guys that uh, were waiting for us, so uh, I guess we need to move on pretty soon. Alright, let's uh, move out. Well, let's find our horses and settle up. But where is my horse? I need to find my horse. Oh, okay. Right. That's kind of funny. <laughs> well. Oh, where's my ho Oh, there's my... No, that's not my horse. Where's my horse? Where's my horse? I thought it was in the stable. Oh, that's there is it. There he is. That's my horse. The funny thing about Oblivion is that riding horseback is not as is not much quicker than uh, traveling on foot. It's really funny. Uh, I can directly go there to the Cloud Temple, but I need to fast travel. All right. Now here we are. Uh, I skipped uh, the f the travel the traveling to this uh, place. Not much happened while traveling. So now I have brought Martin to the um, the Cloud Temple or something, Cloud Ruler Temple, where uh, he will. Uh, it's, this is a um, a temple that is uh, guarded by the blades. Blades are the. Uh, I think they're the personal assistants of the uh, the emperor, the ruling emperor. But since he's dead, uh, the blades are going to protect Martin, who is the uh, son of the emperor, of course, to uh, protect him until he can be the next emperor. So uh, we have a little ceremony here. And, uh, yeah, let's just listen to that. But there is yet hope. Here is Martin Septim, true son of Uriel Septim. Hail, Dragonborn! Hail, Martin Septim! Hail! The blades are at your command. You will be safe here until you can take up your throne. All of you, I know you all expect me to be emperor. I'll do my best. Well, you see, the, the facial animations have uh, ceased working. Something is wrong there. I don't know if this is a uh, in-game bug or it has something to do with my um, mods, but um, I, I recall the last time I played this game, that this segment, uh, that there also the facial animations were uh, kind of weird. But um, I don't need to sound ungrateful. Uh, okay, well. No, I would be dead by now if it weren't for you. Thank you. Kind of funny at the background. Fire is not working anymore. It's freezed. They want an emperor to tell It's really, really strange. As well. Um, though I do like the focus on it when you're, um, uh, when you're engaging in, in conversation that uh, you focus on the person. You're talking to. I think that was a um, stroke of genius by Bethesda. So you fo you really focus on the conversation, and it's not like uh, you're zoomed out, and then the conversation takes place. But um, so it's it's fine. Something has changed. Well, let's talk a little more. 
Lots of talk, no action here. The dragon fires is the key. All practitioners of Daedric magic are familiar with the almost impenetrable barrier between our world and oblivion. What the Emperor told you implies that the amulet is the key to the preservation of that barrier. What I saw at Kavach. Everything I know about Daedric magic says that such stable portals are impossible. Yet those gates to oblivion existed. The old rules no longer apply. Kavach is All right. the beginning of what may rule today gone with her. If the amulet is truly the key to restoring the barriers between our world and oblivion, you must waste no time in recovering it. Alright, find the Amulet of Kings that was so foolishly stolen from the Priory. Followed a different path. I know more than I want to about the seductive power of Daedric magic. Let's just leave it at that. Don't worry about me, my friend. You have proven yourself a loyal servant of the Empire, as worthy as any of the Blades to stand by Martin's side during this crisis. As the Grand Master of the Blades, I would be honored to accept you into our order. Will you join us? It is my honor to welcome you into our ranks as a Knight Brother of the Blades. You're right. We must try to recover the amulet before the enemy takes it out of our reach. You should go back to the Imperial City. Boris may have learned something about the assassins. You'll find Boris at Luther Broad's boarding house in the Elven Gardens district of the Imperial City. The Amulet of Kings is the key to everything now. Once we have it back, Martin can use it to light the dragonfires in the Temple of the One and reseal the barriers between Oblivion and our world. This place was built by Raymond Cyrodiil Zakaviri Dragon Guard at the founding of the Second Empire. Since then, it has served the Blades as headquarters, fortress and sanctuary. We can protect Martin here until you recover the Amulet of Kings. The Elder Council rules in the Emperor's absence by ancient tradition. Chancellor Akato heads the Elder Council and is the closest thing the Empire has to a leader right now. But the Blades answer only to the Emperor, of course. We are not an arm of the government. Give my warm regards to Boris. Tell him he should not blame himself for the Emperor's death. He did well to send you to me. 